Okay, we're back. My final step to this is, and you can you can see that this is not uh, perfection is not exactly the name of the game with this one here. It's really kind of bad right in this area here. This over here is not bad, and that's because the die was off that one side. It wasn't actually expanded equally throughout the perimeter of the die. So what I've done is I've made, basically this is a mandrel. I made this mandrel. I saw this somewhere on YouTube. Somebody was doing it. Almost everything that I've done here today, somebody else has already done. I've just put all those features together that suited me the way I wanted to do it. I, I don't think I've done anything here that is any different not even this. I think I found one guy that was doing this and I just kept it in the back of my mind when I started making these. This is an inch and a quarter uh, PVC cap, inch and a quarter uh, pipe. Put a hole in it. You have to flatten the bottom if you don't already have it flat. Uh, you're going to have to take it down in diameter. If you got a lathe, it would be a hell of a lot easier. But I had to hand sand all this down all the way till it, you know, I've worked on it many, many times to get it to fit in here the way I want it to fit. If you do it from just the size that you, you buy it in the store, you'll never get it out. <laughs> never ever get it out. Uh, this diameter right now, its average is about 1940, 1.940 on the diameter. It's not exactly round. I think it's 194, 192, uh, one, some 197. It all depends on where you measure it. Anyway, this is what I do. I take it, put it, and I'm going to drive it down. And this is the bad one. This is not. This is the one that's got the dimple in the bottom there. I'm going to drive it down, but I'm going to do it in about three stages. Once I get it down a little farther, I'm going to take it over to my vise, and I, what, what you have to do is knock it off with a piece of wood very carefully, otherwise you're going to damage these edges. So uh, here I'm going to go ahead and just... I don't want to drive it in too far to begin with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. It takes me about three times to do that. It takes a little bit of time. I got to go over and get it released in the in the vise. I use a piece of wood just to knock it off. So I'm going to do that, and we're going to come back and take a look and see what that looks like when we're done. See if we've improved it a bit. And even when we do the burn test, whether or not it even works, but I think it will. Hold on. Be back in a second. Okay, we're back. I finished the uh, the one that wasn't so good. I actually, you know, tried to drive it all the way to the bottom to flatten out some of the discrepancies. Now you can see at about 12 o'clock on there, that's where the uh, you know the bad part is. But the rest is not too bad. So this is still going to be. I think it's still going to be a functional a functional stove. So we'll see because I'm going to do a side by side burn test on these just here quickly. The other one. Um, I don't know, this, this is pretty darn good for an amateur, but again, the quality of the die, and I did drive my little mandrel down inside this one, but not all the way, I just drove it down about, oh, about a third of the way, and what that does, it crisps up the top a little bit, uh, makes it look a little nicer on the top, and I think that looks, that looks pretty darn good. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to tell you the, uh, the mandrel, um, it's actually, <laughs> I wish I had had some way of extending it because when you get deep inside one of these, you actually almost put that whole um, cap down inside here, and it gets a little bit difficult to to get out sometimes. But you, if you're careful, you're not going to damage it. Uh, hopefully, you're not going to damage these edges. And that's where you know you might do that when you're taking it out with a piece of wood. So ro rotate when you put it in the vise. Rotate it around a couple times. Work on it. Very slight. You know, hits with your hammer. Or with a piece of block of wood and uh, actually I wanted to say also that that uh, mandrel the cap is actually um, uh, it's actually super glued onto the uh, PVC pipe um, I lost it inside one of these one time and I had to rip it rip the uh, stove apart to get it out again so I super glued it now I don't have that problem anymore also you're gonna want to really put a lot of Vaseline on it that makes it much easier to get in and out and uh, so, you know, don't be stingy with the Vaseline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, uh, I'll get this set up. I'm going to do a side-by-side, -side, put about, I won't put more than about three-quarters of an ounce of alcohol just to, to see, them, you know, how they burn. You know, I'll get some water out here and we'll take a look and see how it goes. Be back in a minute. Okay, here we are. We're back. Um, I've, got a, I've got both of them running now. 
Uh, I only have a little bit of fuel and a little bit of water in both pots. I'm not really burning this for, I just wanted to see them, you know, that they were both going to burn nice. Um, I did burn them one time because I wanted to go ahead and burn off any of the uh, petroleum, you know, the, the Vaseline that I had in there because that's what sometimes they make them flare up a little bit at the beginning. So I had them burning just slightly uh, beforehand um, just to burn all that off. Otherwise it just looks like, you know, like an inferno. But okay, the one here on the left is our good one. The one that uh, we had the good die with. The one here on the right hand side is the one that we had trouble with. Um, they both run fine. They both run good. They started up nicely. Um, I don't see any problem. Uh, one, of course, aesthetically looks a lot nicer if you're making yourself. That's what you want to have. But with that mandrel, usually you can fix some of the aesthetics up a little bit and take some of that, you know, discrepancy out on the on the inner wall and everything else. So I think I just put a, I just put maybe a quarter ounce of fuel in there. I didn't put much in there just to get them lit, lit up again after I ran the first time. Um, so they look pretty darn good. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, these two videos, putting these together. I enjoyed, I haven't put one of these together quite a long time. I've been more, you know, looking for uh, something to do with alcohol stoves with the carbon felt. And uh, to that end, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put this in front of the camera here. If I can, let me see if I can put this up here. Now this is a, this is one of the um, fence posts that I did oh, just a while back. <clears throat> it's got the three different carbon felts in it. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm, I've got another one like this and I, it's sitting over there and what I think I'm possibly going to do is I'm going to take and um, cut it off, cut the other fence post off. I'm not sure how high yet, probably maybe three-eighths to a half inch here and I'm going to use this top here to actually put a stove on top of it. Now now using the aluminum weld is kind of change everything around so I would have to put the aluminum weld, uh, the, the stove in a bottom end and I'm thinking about putting a hole through here and uh, put a bolt through the center of the stove itself and bolt it down to this but then for legs, and I'm going to reach around my camera here and uh, for legs, and this is just a piece of nothing that I had laying around from another project and I actually threaded the end of it here and make sure I could thread it. It's a 1032 tap. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap three holes on the outside portion of this, you know, like you would have, so you can have a pot stand. And I'm going to tap the 3 16 um, stock that I have. And I'm going to bend it up in some fashion here. And uh, then I'm going to thread it in like, you know, like I would normally. And But then on the bottom, when it's open here, and I'm going to cut this down, I'm actually going to probably put the aluma weld to make sure it doesn't come loose. You can't take them out. That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And if I change that around, if I don't think I need the aluma weld as far as the uh, you know the pot stand portion of it, and eh, I'll, I'll take a look at that when I get made. But I I thought to utilize the one that I do have here. I'll just cut that and mount you know a the circular portion of the stove that holds the carbon felt up on top here bolted to the top with a center bolt coming through it'd be about a 1032 bolt so anyway and now our I think one stove is going out there because I didn't put much fuel in it anyway I hope you enjoyed the, these two part this two part uh, demonstration on how to make these stoves if you have any questions or comments and spectacularly if you know how to anybody knows how to make one of those dies better than I do I'm, I sure would like to find out myself um, uh, I like making these they're pretty simple to make um, otherwise, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.